How's the knee? Uh, it's feeling a little bit better. Still pretty sore, but something I just got to fight through. Uh, see if it get better over time. At what point did you decide that it's something that you have to fight through? More rest, the way that it was, was not going to be the answer. Um, I wasn't seeing too much results um, as far as uh, getting better, but uh, I don't know. I just felt like something I could still play on, um, and I wanted to be out there, so. Felt like it was time every time. Considering how you sort of bet on yourself with this by coming here with this, you know one year thing and all that, yeah. you, did, did that play into your decision that you really needed to? Um, I mean, it doesn't help being uh, just you know being sidelined, but at the same time, it's still a long season, 82 games, so uh, yeah, and there's still a lot of time to uh, play basketball. Any ramifications from the other night, or is it about the same? Uh, I think it's about the same. Um, yeah, close to the same. Not worse, but not better. Do you feel limited in, I mean, your athleticism with this? I, mean, I think it's just more over being hesitant um, when it comes to the game. Uh, there's a lot of adrenaline. Uh, I'm not thinking too much about it, but uh, there's some times where I'm, I'm just a bit hesitant and I just try to fight through that. It's just all a mental thing at this point. Figure just a few more games, maybe it'll help you get it. Yeah, that, that's the plan. Hopefully. How big of a challenge is that mental aspect of it, of getting past the fact that you're, you're playing? With yeah, I mean, uh, that's what comes with the game. A lot of uh, there's injuries, uh, just got to fight through it and, um, yeah, just do what you can to just recover from injuries like this. So. What did you feel like you brought to your game outside of doing static dunking? <laughs> um, just, uh, just. Playing defense, uh, just just playing hard, uh, taking taking pride in my defense, and um, just uh, just being aggressive when I got the opportunity. The three point shot is a little bit higher um, this go round. Yeah, have you been, on? yeah, I've been getting up a lot of shots, uh, working on my arc, adding arc to my shots, so uh, showing a little bit of improvements on it. So. In the games before that, was that a product of the, the knee being sore and you not being able to get as much lift as you usually do? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think it's just more just uh, adding art to my shot. So. Did you need that dunk just for a mental? I, I think boost? it. I think it helped a little bit. So let's get a uh, get that in. Did other injuries on the team play into your decision to, to come back? Uh, no, it's, I mean it's just about me. Yeah. The other night, the way you guys pulled that out after losing the twenty-two point lead, do you feel like that was a step forward? Yeah, um, as, as, a, as a whole, I think um, it was good. To, you know, it's always good to get those wins. Uh, just feeling good going into the next game. Uh, just hope, hopefully that we, we can keep it going. So. You've seen this team already this week. Uh, what adjustments do you think you can pull from? Uh, I think defensive coverages. Uh, made a lot of mistakes um, defensively. And just um, I think we missed a lot of uh, open shots as well. So it's important that we, you know, hopefully they fall tonight. David, when you defended Giannis coming out there, what have you learned about trying to slow him down a little bit? Uh, I mean, he's aggressive going to the basket, and um, uh, it, he's, a, he's a tough guy to uh, try to stop, but it's important to just try to stay in front. Um, you need help from uh, your teammates as well. we got to shrink the floor, and it's a, it's a team effort at that point.